Hey everybody, welcome back to the Game Over Club. It is I, Retro Matt. Today for the GWF years, it's 2093. In terms of the top news, we have Omega's eldest son, Alpha Force. He's returned to uh, his dimension and is uh, ready and eager to help out uh, his uh, younger brother and father with Chaos and Thanos and all the other evil bad guys. Number two is the Collector in his workshop. Um, he comes out of nowhere and he kind of uh, lets all the, the villains know that he wants to uh, repackage some of the, uh, we'll say, some of the, the faces and join and kind of like convert them to the evil side, if you will. So there's the collector. And the third uh, top news story event of the year, I would say, is the hooded masked man that kind of uh, watches all the gladiators in their matches. And who is he and what is he doing this for? And why is he picking on the gladiators if that's a great thing to do to begin with? So uh, this is going to be a pretty awesome year, and let's take a look. Let's take a deeper look inside what we get. The eldest son of Omega has returned from his adventurous ways in Dimension X. He enters to tangle with an old rival in Chaos. Alpha Force holds the ultimate force and will use it on Chaos and all other evildoers. Alpha will occasionally tag with his little brother Star Warrior as a team coat of arms versus Chaos and Matador. A young gravity ball left Clipper, Quasar has transitioned to the art of pro wrestling to help his friends on the Fighting Titans. Quasar is the first new member of the Titans since Billy Joe Boxer debuted back in 2088. The mysterious manager from Pollux this newcomer secretly approached the heels, offering to reinvent any of their wrestlers and or disgruntled wrestlers, not giving them new gimmicks, but maybe for fiendish ways. Renegade is no more, and now he has been unleashed, more sadistic than ever. Without Tyrak to control his friend's fury, Cannibal looks to destroy the Savage Kingdom for six wasted years. He uses a highly controversial finisher in the throat slit, a near invisible strand of Neptunian line to strangle his opponents with. It's unknown how much space credits it took for Earthquake to leave his FDF friends, but Earthquake has sided with the Collector and changed into Chopper Matok, the deranged cosmic lumberjack. He feuds with Man Mountain and has brought the GWF the Hydra Lumberjack match. Adam Blast was summoned by the Council of Nations on Earth to prepare for war. Luckily, cooler heads prevailed and a war was averted. However, with all of, the, all of Adam's extensive military training, he has transformed himself into U.S. Patriot and looking to take down Genghis Khan first of all. Benny has been seen working out and, and reinventing his ring attire. Rumors abound that Vanity is losing his grip on Sweet Thing, though he denies it. He has a new finisher in Lady's Choice. He continues the feud with Tirak. With Renegade gone, Tirak has recruited his right-hand man at a zoo in a sectarian. He has subtle ways communicating with all the creatures in the zoo, even the creeper. He teams with Tirak as the Savage Ones, and also faces Mr. Galaxy. Tirak has changed his team name from the Space Grabbers of Neptune to the Savage Kingdom. Here comes Black Hole, Barton, AstroTurf, the Meteor Storm. They enter as Mer Ursa Major did last year as a GWS resident tag team bums. Hey, they are super sensitive on their appearance and don't make fun of them. So there you have it, there's 2093. Now for the uh, top cards of this edition, uh, some honorable mentions first. First I'd like to honorably mention Vanity and his, uh, I don't know if it's even an update really, I mean it kinda is because he has a new finisher with the Ladies' Choice. Um, but besides, I think his stats pretty well stay the same, but new guard art, and it's probably his coolest one. Nice shades in there, right? So there's uh, an honorable mention. The second one I give to Cannibal, Cannibal the Headhunter. Uh, Renegade finally um, gets to cut loose as a full, full-on villain, and um, he's going to be uh, a, a handful for the uh, mid-card guys. He's a great card. I always love that card. So my top pick for this uh, edition is, of course, got to be Awful Force. You know, it's the eldest son of Omega, you know, who's come back with the ultimate force and uh, ready to take on Chaos. So if you know, he has to be number one. Number two goes to Quasar. Quasar is uh, <laughs> pretty, he's, he's a great card. He is a great card. Um, you know, the uh, the former Gravity Ball player. Um, he, he has a solid, solid card. And number three. We have uh, one of my favorites that I, 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 used, I used to love, 
uh, US Patriot. So there you have everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed uh, 2093. We'll see you next time. Their days and their levels. See ya. Next time, 2094, the GWF throws down sudden death. Nine wrestlers will be banished from each participating team. Who is the hooded stranger and why is he watching over the gladiators?